Well, we are pulling second shift at the castle again. It's getting more and more frequent. The weather has not played along very nice at all. It's been very tornadic, lots of hail, lots of high winds, whole lots of rain. But hey, here we are, still alive. Get to work another day. Let's go see what we're gonna do today. Well, hi, Ryan. Oh, hello. You made it. Yeah, yep. Why are you wearing glasses today? I have something going on here going on. Oh, I just thought maybe you, you decided to, you know. Look studious. Smoke a hooter before you came here or something. Oh, no. <laughs> so his, his, uh, his right eye is not doing too well today. However, we're still here and we are going to frame up the laundry room wall. Hopefully we get both, but for sure we're going to frame up the hallway wall that comes all the way over to the ICF, which gives the access to the castle from the castle into the master bath, etc., etc., etc. You ready? Etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, yes. Man, I really like that green laser. Every time you bring I'm it, it makes me you. want to buy one more I and more and more. But dude, those things are like six hundred bucks. I know. It's kind of crazy. Sure, would be nice if Dewalt would send one our way. I, you know, I, would say I emailed corporate and never got a response, and I was told, email corporate, if they're interested, they'll get back with you. Well, apparently, they are not interested, my friend. Uh, it's okay. So if Milwaukee wants to send us one, we'd take that too, right? Ooh. Huh? I've never seen a Milwaukee one. I mean, we really don't care what brand it is. I don't care what color. As long as it works and it's self-leveling and it gives us at least three sides of laser, right? That's all you need, three sides. This one's four, ain't it? Oh no, that one is three. Yeah, just three. They have one that's got four on it. Yeah, this guy too. Yeah, that'd be for tile work, I assume. Which tile work, ceiling grid. <laughs> there might be some of that around here at some point in time. All right. So again, the goal is to frame these walls up. Ryan has measured off of the ICF wall. Now, Ryan, I'm going to ask a question. See if you answer correctly. How far off of that wall is that green line? Forty-two inches. It should be right at 42 inches what about this one this one 42 inches should be right at 42 inches <laughs> but honestly the reason i measured 42 here is because we have 42 inches to the toe of our yep wall there correct so there if we wanted to go to have a true 42 inch hallway bump over a half for the drywall half, so we got 42. yeah there wasn't much we could do line, about that one to keep the platform the same as the other platform width wise that's kind of where those steps had to go i could have brought this wall back but boy that would have sucked to try to that just would have sucked if we would have tried to flush it up so you never got the corner beads around there for your drywall correct so that's how we had to do that one now we're here gonna have a 42 inch hallway there 42 inch hallway here connected they will not be a door or anything so that if you come in roughly to where it's at right there yeah, if you come in from the outside, you can either go whoop upstairs or you can come through, make a left hand turn, go into the master bath somewhere oh, in here. Whatever. Oh, or go. Oh, that's not good. It means you're not square. So we're going to get materials. We're going to get the bottom marked. We're going to get the tops marked. And oh, then we're going to rock no. on. Well, yeah, you knew that was going to happen. What's it doing in there? That's every time oh never fails we got plenty of two by four scraps we can throw in there we'll be good well all right we got the green laser lined up right on the corner we got it lined up with our mark here so we're good and square and then we actually measured off of the icf because this is crazy and and ryan and i were like well, 19 feet minus 43 and oh wait I saw a video the other day where an individual taught me how to do math with a tape measure and Ryan was like, what are you talking about? So you take your tape measure, you run it out to your full dimension, which is 19 feet, and then you come over to 42 inches, or 43. We, or we can do 43. The right dimension. And this 43 inch mark in the 19 feet continuous loop tells you 43 from 92 is 184 and 7 eighths. Isn't that cool? Where did you come up with 92? 92? What do you mean? 
He said 43 from 19 five. feet. <laughs> Look, I saw the 192, and you know what happens when you're reading numbers. If that made sense to you all, great. If it didn't, we're going 19 feet, and we're so deducting crafty. 43 inches if you run your tape measure out to 19, but keep your end that typically hooks onto something and run it to your 19 feet and then go back to your 43, it tells you what the difference is. And I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Another little trick too. So you have an odd number like 73 and you wanna know what your halfway, your center line would be on 73. Line it up. Line up your end. And at the peak of your bend. Oh, 36 and a half. Look at you. I'm telling you what. Answers are always in front of us, and all we do is scratch our heads. <laughs> it's dumb. It really is. All right, so Ryan, so last question. 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 Are we framing on the floor and standing them up, or are we going to frame in place? We can do that one on the floor and stand it up because we're going to be underneath the joist. This one we have to frame in place. Dang. Why does it make a difference if you're under the joist or not? Because you'll be able to stand it up and be under the joist, whereas here, you have to stand it up a little ways, scoot it over, pull up in between the joists, and then I agree with you. I just wanted you to answer for them. <laughs> All righty, Ryan is up top, marking our top plate so we can shut the laser off. I'm gonna mark. I said I was going to mark, I have my pencil and I have my tape measure, but I don't have my square. I'm going to mark our 16 inch centers on our single top and our single bottom, and then the double top doesn't matter. It just gets held on. My square wasn't far, so we're going to mark our inch and a half for our first, and then we go. 15 and a quarter, because we're gonna hold back three quarter. 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 And yes, there's gonna be a doorway in this, but we will lay that out shortly. Just gonna get our 16s so that when we get our top plate on, our cripples will be in the right spot over our header. That's pretty close. Close enough to really score. Now, like a ding dong, I left my square all the way over here. If I hadn't left my square all the way over here, Ryan, I could have been very efficient yeah, and marked to the end and then squared my way back. Yep. I'm not that smart. I'm just not that efficient today. A little of both, Ryan, a little of both. I said today, most of the time. <clears throat> I had an apprentice ask me one time, what's, if there's one thing you could teach everyone, what would it be? And two of the other carpenters standing around me, oh, you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Rambling off all these old silly sayings. Yeah. And he looked at me. Time lean, time clean. He looked at me and goes, So what would you say, Ryan? I said, No wasted movements. It's all about efficiency. And that old head looked at me and goes, You would say something like that. It's true. Yeah. Efficiency always matters. Yep. Especially on a job with any changes at all. <laughs> yes. Four 
Sir, fire it up. It's gonna get loud. Hopefully in a different room. Ah! What does that have to do with price tea in China? Price eggs in China? I said tea in China. Oh. There's good tea in China. I have drank tea in China before. Yeah, but you're somewhat of a world traveler. I used to be. You know how far I've been? Florida. San Antonio, Texas one time, and Puerto Rico one time. Well, that ain't bad. No, Puerto Not Rico. good if you're good. Puerto Rico's fun. I'd love to go back here. So we are chalking the line for the top plate now that we have, I don't know, what do you call those, Ryan? They're essentially, they're cripples, but... I mean, they're just spreaders. Spreaders, cripples. And it has nothing to do no with the that. joist. It's just something to keep the wall from flopping left and right once it's up there. No structural value whatsoever. Correct. Just hold the wall. So stay there. Stay here? Yeah. We're going to chalk this to that here one? Go ahead and swirl while you're up. Oh. Wow. I don't even know if I really need to chalk it. We just go off and that board down here. I know. Just saying chalking it here really isn't. We will anyway. Don't worry, folks. We know we're not on camera. We're still here. I'm on camera. You're not. <sighs> Ryan's acting like a grandpa today, just so y'all know. Oh, he worked hard all day. I worked hard doing nothing all day. <laughs> <laughs> now, I when I we talked work. earlier during lunch, you were like, well, I'm laying out these walls for these seven other guys. So what do you mean you didn't do anything? It was for the plumbers. All I had to do was chalk the lines. You know what? That that essentially works like a streamline. We only missed one, so we've only got one that's got extra hump to it. We need to chalk it one more time to catch that one. We have to pull it a little tighter there, but nice, you schmacker that time. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. We got How this important. line. What? How important is it that you snap your chalk line straight up and down? Highly. Why is it important, Matt? Because if you pull a rubber band sideways, the rubber band ends sideways, which means it's going to be off your mark. Good job. I mean, did you really want to answer that? You did. Well, I, I know you did. I was doing that for the people. For the people? Now we need to cut that one back. Those are two cut. We just need to cut one more plate. Three and five eighths back. An extra three and five eighths back, yes. And so I'll pull a measurement, we'll cut that off, and then we can start slapping some boards up. Let me cut one more, and we're probably gonna put you guys on time lapse, and we're gonna rock out framing this thing.
Well, Ryan, yeah. in a very short amount of time, things are changing drastically. Yeah, now you gotta walk around stuff in here. Gotta walk around stuff. We left these two studs out because that's gonna be the doorway. I am leaving a spot for a future potential soaking tub because, I don't know, I don't like baths, but some people do. Um, that way we can put a great big soaking tub here. We left ourselves seven feet. We'll frame that door later. Uh, yeah. Now we gotta frame this wall that will close off to this wall because the plumber's gonna show up tomorrow and the washer and dryer go in this section here, accessible from the side that Ryan is on. I'm in the door. You're in the door. All right, so we gotta put some nailers on for the drywall and we gotta put in two jack studs. Save the header for a different day. Gotta get this framed up because Plumber Todd is coming. Oh, Plumber Todd. Oh, Toad. All right, we're gonna put those cripples in for nailers, put our jack studs in, get this back wall and this side wall framed. It's gonna be a nice little hole over here for the pooper, Ryan. Uh, I'm telling you. Kind of liking it. Oh, okay, Ryan, I'm ready for your jack stud lengths. What do you need?
washer and dryer whip together. Twenty seven is this way. Not that way. You got a diagram of all this. Yeah, I'm sorry. That uh, that diagram was in centimeters. I didn't think you wanted that one. Uh, 31 to 34. All right, we're going to 36. Mark the end of We're going to go extra. Well, Ryan Piper, hold on. You're going to do 36 from this side. Oh, you're on 37. See what we're doing here. So rather than having this two by four this way, because it gets really tight in the uh, pooper. Very tight, I mean, it's really, really tight. very tight. So we're going to take this wall and frame it the inch and a half way. So we still have drywall nailer here, and then we are creating a drywall nailer with our wall this way. Correct. And all this wall is going to do is separate the dryer from the toilet. From the pooper. No dryer pooper connection. Unless. We could just leave it open, I guess. Hey, look at that. Scrap board's gonna fit there. Uh, Jim, I need to... Now, I need the laser. Do we want to cut it flush or leave it past an inch and a half? We want to cut it flush so that our inch and a half board standing up can nail to the end of it. Okay, so I need to be 57, yeah? 57 and 3 quarter. I need my laser so I can take it. I can take it. Oh, you framed up those steps. I don't know if that measures or not. For this one. I did not frame up. <laughs> I framed up the wall inside those steps. You, you did frame up the center wall. That was back before you realized how enjoyable it is to work with me at this castle. And you decided to just do it more and more. And we were 37 and white, right? My fault. I'm thinking, but did you hook or did you bump? bump. You bumped, yeah, 37 on the bunny. Shower. Ah. 37 on the bunny, sitting for the shower. Yes. But 
the board is actually on the shower side, not the line. That's why I'm okay. sitting toward the shower. Yeah, well, so you have all that actual carpenter lingo. I don't know. Oh, I like how <laughs>
right because you cut it three times. I pay attention. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm working on my knees. And I can't Don't let my job. I can't remember who said it the last time. 57 and three quarters. I can't remember exactly how the comment went. I'll have, to, I'll have to get back with you on that one. Yeah. Which, which comment are you talking about? Yes. Somebody, made, or? somebody made a comment on it. It might have been you. <laughs> it probably <laughs> was. <you. laughs> Surprise me. Did you go in and hurry up? Hey, no, listen, seriously. Did you go look at some of the replies I put after you replied? You no. should go look. <laughs> Seriously, like the exact size of the board is wearing me out. And you know why I'm saying that too. Yes. Okay. That one needs to be done the same way over there. No, that one is going to have a ceiling height again. No. Yes. No. There is not a ceiling. Matt, I can't just put a three and a half up there. I why? Have something a little bit extra to hold to that. But Matt, it's going to be painted black. Look. Yeah, still going to be noticed. Because that's an obvious blunt end. It's fine. Leave it. Right. Kill him. It's inside the Hey, just so you guys know, I'm going to blame Ryan for the rest of his life. Every damn chance he gets. 100%. Give me that salt. So I will be right now. Can you make me stretch over here with a burnt foot? <laughs> I got my voice back. Now my foot hurts. Hey, hey. Uh, turn your ladder around. No. <laughs> Get closer there, little guy. I'm doing it the hard way. Give it here. Oh, boy. Woo, you know, you're doing right. Really? What did you do that for? You need this out now? Yes. We'll be back. Well, maybe. Yeah, I can't get in there. Oh, yeah. Halfway down. Yeah. Well, you're packing. Packing. Maybe you're going to be those two by six 
five sixes down there? Yeah, what do you want this one? For a drywall on the other inside this wall, like have a feet right there? Oh, how the hell do I have one that tall? Oh dear. And honestly, with all the rafters we need to cut out there, I really don't want to give you one. Okay, fine then. Can we put it on later? Or drywall is all that matters. Okay. 1.55. 1.55! Rock and roll, Jesus! Yeah. So you guys are going to be sweet over there, honey. Oh, you're not going to my barn over. Have to get him close to my feet. What are you doing? Trying to get it to where you can frame while I cut and stick it back. Yeah, I cut one more, does that last one need to be? 
this up right now. Times is on a watch. That's what one of my uh make a half, man. What? Make a half. One of them needs to be. Yes. Um, that's what my algebra teacher always said. I would say 10 times 3. He's like, there's no set of time. Ooh, you got me. You got me. It's multiplication. So I asked my kids this, Ryan. I don't know if YouTube can handle this question, but what is the meaning of multiplication? Let me make a cut my lesson. Wait. Sorry, I cut the wrong one first. What is the meaning of multiplication? Like the Merriam-Webster meaning? Like. Just give me the general meaning of multiplication. What does multiplication mean? To what? To multiply. To multiply, right? Everyone agree? Multiplication means to multiply. I agree. You agree? I agree. How is one on the multiplication table? What's one times anything? The Same itself. freaking number. Yeah. How's that multiplier? How is it? It can't be. It's not a multiplier. And I asked my kids this about three months ago, and I saw a video about a gentleman that had created a new flight because we've all been lied to our whole life. Because one is not a multiplier. Dude, that's the only thing we've been lied to about our whole life. Dude, that's a big one. <laughs> I mean, seriously. For real. Okay, you need to put that in the back of just this go, shall I? Uh huh, yes, sir. Do it later, right? There you go. You can tire out your stuff. No, I just don't want to stand on it. Seriously? Like seriously. 
Okay. Sorry, I was not. Say it again. So, this wall, 14 and a quarter, 13. Or 30 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter, 30 and a quarter. Yes. 14 and a quarter, 13 and a four hole. Well, that falls right on the knot hole. That's nice. Yeah, it's just an old knot hole. That'd be a pretty cool phrase to say. Yo, knot hole! Dead length is 123 and 3. Which side do you want the X on? My left or my right? Your left. Okay. Stead length what? Huh? Which move? 123 and 3 X. Next one. 23, 3 eighths, go. I'm in the center, center. Same. Okay. Center, center. Same. Dude, who framed that upper floor? That was this guy. You better say same, though. He's going to not say same because I made that call, man. That's going to be tied to the word. 123 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Ready to go. Eight, six, go one, twenty-eight, three, and three eighths, four times. Yep. Yeah? Yeah, and that's not long enough. Yeah. That's that's long. Long. Well, that one's gonna be too short because it's the same number. Get out of here. I guess I'm gonna get short. One, twenty-three, and three eighths. I got another board after behind me. Oh. Come on. Is that the wall tape? Nope. My Fat Max. Sorry about you today, but I'm hoping I could brag on Nope. I do not. Did not. Like, it works, don't get me wrong, but the big hook on the end of that thing, mm -hmm, that ain't for this guy. Look at paper, the new operator. No good. That fat paper.
hardly <laughs> see your pants on. I mean, come on. No, they saw it, and I already barked off some of this board up here trying to drive it in there. It won't go. That is so little to cut. There's no way I'd be able to do that accurately without my player.
jail now, but we got the bathroom framed up to give you guys that explanation again. This is for the poop station. The door will open this way. Come in, you have a his and her sink and a great big walk-in shower. So, still have a decent sized bathroom. What is that dimension? It's not small. I can figure my room the house. Um, 11 no. by... Oh man, it's gonna bump that plate here we go. 11 by 8 plus a <laughs> 7 foot deep plus a yeah 7 foot by 4 foot walk-in shower. Can you guys tell I like showers? And 3 by 3 foot. And a 3 foot by 3 foot area for a toilet. Yes. For your toilet. That's all we're going to do tonight. We will put, it doesn't require a header, but we will put a header in cripples here. This will be a 36 inch door. Um, but again, we'll I don't know, we might open it up before it closes off the pooper. We're going to have a barn slider that comes across to close off the pooper hole. And we're going to have a double barn slider that will slide over the stairwell opening and over into this backside here for the laundry area. So everything will have its own little compartment and it'll be just like someone could live here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, turn those notifications on. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate you. Drive fast and turn left. That's how I did NASCAR, baby.